In the audiophile world, few names are more reputable than Sennheiser. As makers of headphones since 1968, they have brought decades of audio engineering experience to each of their products. I'm here today with what's probably the lowest end of their true audiophile line of headphones. That being said, it's not like they come with a light price tag. So is this product worth your hard earned cash? My name is Stephen Potter, and these are the Sennheiser HD600s. Opening the packaging, you can easily tell that you're dealing with a premium product. The box is nicely hinged and comes with enough soft foam inside to ensure that there is practically zero chance that the headphones will be damaged in shipping. The included cable is incredibly long, 9 feet to be precise, meaning that it may become impractical in certain situations. It terminates in a standard 3.5mm jack, although a quarter inch adapter is included for those of you who prefer that. Fortunately, the cable is removable, and plenty of replacements are available online, so if you're not a huge fan of the stock one, then you can always switch it out. So the build is mostly plastic, but it's not the worst I've ever seen. I'm not a huge fan of the pattern used on these, the foam marble seems out of place on a product at this price range, but the plastic keeps them really lightweight, which when coupled with the super soft foam all around, makes them incredibly comfortable for extended use. This foam also allows your ears to breathe very easily, meaning that you shouldn't have to worry about sweat build up either. They aren't too weak, with a metal strip running through the headband, although I have heard reports of the plastic occasionally cracking, so do be careful with these things. As you can quite clearly see, these are open headphones. What this means is you'll get a really nice wide soundstage, which is great for personal listening, and may even help out in games as the audio is incredibly positional. Just remember that it also means that you'll be able to hear all of the ambient noise from the environment, and these things leak sound like nothing else. They're about as loud inwards as outwards so please don't use these on public transport, both for your sake and the sake of everyone around you. Let's get into the bit that you've probably all been waiting for, sound quality. So let's start off with the bass. It's really tight and has quite a bit of punch to it, without overpowering anything else, as I found while listening to 22 by Lily Allen. If you're used to bass heavy pairs of headphones, you may feel that it's a bit lacking, but it's actually incredibly well balanced. Listening to Serenity by Laura Bremen Evoke, I found vocals to be crystal clear and well resolved. The HD600s provide a very flat sound signature, which I really appreciate. At the end of the day, we're getting almost exactly what the artist intended. A lot of people have been pointing out the difficulty of these to drive at a decent volume, but I found this to be over-exaggerated. At 300 ohms of impedance, they are tougher than most basic headphones, but not that much tougher. I was able to use them comfortably with both the built-in outputs of my phone and my desktop. Yes, you'll want an amp to make full use of these, but I wouldn't say it's a requirement to be sure. Even after 15 years, these headphones stand up remarkably well in the modern market, which is really a testament to Sennheiser's engineering prowess. That being said, they're not perfect. The heavy use of plastic is really a concern for long-term durability. The HD600s aren't the best built, best value, or best sounding headphones out there. But they don't have to be, because they're a pair of headphones that sound damn good and are a joy to wear. Thanks a lot for watching. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you disliked it, then feel free to give it a dislike. If you have a question or some more detailed feedback, then leave that in the comment section. If you'd like to see more of these videos, make sure you click the subscribe button. And if you live in the UK and are interested in buying this product while supporting the channel, follow the Amazon link in the description to give me a kickback when you order.